Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this video, I'll be sharing with you five creative codes to create hover effects for the button in your main navigation on a Squarespace website. As always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but as you can see here, we've got a lot to customize, so I'll go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to use them in Squarespace. Let's get started. To add these codes to Squarespace, we'll navigate to Pages, then select Website Tools, and then Custom CSS. We'll start with this very first code right here that creates 90 degree corners on a hover. The first part of this code sets the border radius to 50 px so it curves in those corners. The second part of the code resets that border radius on a hover and resets the opacity to 1 so we'll have a full color button. This last line here that says Transition All 1 Second means that transition will be slightly slower, it won't be instant, so it has a smoother effect. Now check this out. Pretty awesome effect, right? Now if you want to change that transition duration, you absolutely can. Three seconds might be a little too long, but you can see what that looks like when we slow it down. Personally, I thought one second was just enough time to make it look perfect for this particular hover effect. All right, let's move on to the next one, the sliding background color. This is a pretty creative code right here that's going to create a hover effect where the background color seems to slide across the side of the button. What we've done is set a background linear gradient that is a solid color on the right and a solid color on the left. Then we set the size of the background to 200%. So when we hover over this button, the background is pulled to the side revealing the second color. Pretty cool, right? Again, we set a transition here to be about half a second. You could totally change that value if you want to. And we also reset the opacity so we get the full color effect. Now, how do you change the colors in this code? This first color code right here is the standard color on a non-hover state. Let's go ahead and make that orange so you can see exactly what that looks like. There we go. This second code is the hover effect. So if we want to make this a hex color code for a dark gray, for example, when I hover over the button, it'll get that color change. So again, this is the first code in its standard state. Uh, let's go ahead and change it to red so we can see it right here. And this will be the second code. How about we make this blue? So when we hover over it, we'll see that blue background. That's it for the second code, but we've got three more to go. Next, I'd like to show you how to create a cool shadow to background color. I'm going to paste this code here and instantly we'll see the button change. It now has a box shadow of a bright red. It kind of looks like a duplicate of the button. But when we hover over this button, the shadow gets absorbed and the color of the button changes completely. Now to adjust the colors in this code, just change the word red to whatever color code you want to use. We'll go ahead and use my favorite shade of teal right now. There we go. And now when we hover over that button, it becomes a perfectly branded tealish blue color, exactly what I wanted to see for my own site. Now I do want to mention it can be a little difficult to read the text for this specific color. If you need to update the color of the text in this code, add a semicolon and add the line color and make sure you make your color code important so the browser picks up on that color on the hover. And now check it out. We have text in a different color, background in a different color, and it resets here in its natural state. All right, two more to go. How about we move on to lifted button with a shadow? Let's copy this code and paste it here. This is a fun one that's going to lift the button when I hover over it, scooting it up by about two pixels and adding a box shadow for that lift effect. Now when I hover over it, it looks like the button has actually raised off of the page. Pretty cool, right? It's a super simple code. You can modify this box shadow any way you want to, maybe changing the color up to something like blue, for example. And feel free to adjust the top margin value here. Changing it to a different value like negative 5px will make it a little bit more dramatic, super customizable. Personally, I thought 2px was perfect for this particular code for that slight lift, but you can customize that any way you need to to make it uniquely yours. All right, we've got one last line of code here. This is one of my favorites. This is what I like to call separating shadow colors. We'll paste the code here and check it out. We have our normal state, but as soon as we hover over it, two colors appear to slide out from behind the button. Such a cool code. Now, if you want to change these colors, you absolutely can. Let's change the words red and orange to my branded colors here. And now when I hover over it, we can see those colors expand from behind the button. You can also increase these values in the box shadow if you want those colors to be a little bit more dramatic. I changed them from 5 to 15, and now when we hover over it, it's a much more dramatic reveal, and it could be perfect for your own unique website needs. So that's how we update that separating shadow colors. 
Whatever you've added to your website, be sure to select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we just used to create those hover effects in Squarespace. Just make sure that you modify the colors and other values to make these codes uniquely yours. Thanks so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to check out the rest of my Squarespace custom code collection, visit insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS to get lifetime access. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. Thanks again for watching this video. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.